Welcome to first year Texas teachers video. Though today we're going over Texas core subjects, fourth through eighth, uh, math, 211 practice questions. Uh, please visit us at firstyeartexasteachers.com. We have a bunch of free resources and tools, as well as a study guide for this specific portion of the Texas exam. So let's go over our first question. Um, disclaimer first. Uh, these questions are probably the easiest ones on the exam. These are almost identical uh, to the actual exam themselves. Not all of them are going to be this easy, uh, but a good amount will be straightforward like this. Uh, you just, you'll just have to know the terms. But let's take a look at this question. After grading exams and calculating the mean, median, mode, and range of the exam scores, a teacher scales the scores by adding eight points to each student's test score. Which of the following measures will remain unchanged after adding eight points to each score? So obviously we have our four options uh, and the question is very specific. What, which measure will remain unchanged by adding eight points? And so, you know, mean is going to be the average. So obviously if we increase the average, it, it's going to change. Uh, median is going to be, uh, you know, towards the middle. Uh, I think, um, you know, the, the number directly in the middle. Uh, mode's going to be the number that appears the most. And so, you know, if we change any of those uh, by eight points, we're, we're going to, we're definitely going to see uh, a change uh, in those measurements. It, it range, uh, you know, you. It'd be good to study these different terms because they do appear at least in three or four of the questions, uh, specifically mean, medium, mode. Uh, maybe not like this, but you will need to know the definition of them to help you answer the question. So maybe not as straightforward, like I said, but you'll still need to be familiar with them. Range is just taking the difference between the highest and the lowest number. And so if we increase each score by eight, we're only increasing by eight, so that shouldn't change the range. So, you know, studying these terms are going to be very key in this portion of the exam. Let's take a look at our second question. The student to teacher ratio for classes at Fairview High School is 25 to 1. How many students attend Fairview High School if this total number of teachers is 50? So <laughs> I know this seems easy, but this is identical to the exam. Like I said, there are more challenging questions. Uh, the advantage though, is that there is a calculator uh, tab you can click on, and this just made my life so much easier uh, and so much quicker. Uh, you know, I am pretty good at math, so I, I do love the calculating questions. And so uh, just, numbers and ratios and um, you know just all the above uh, interest me quite well there were probably five though that I was like uh <laughs> but uh, these these are definitely the easiest of the questions of the exam for sure so really uh, you know what I did was I, I used the calculator tab offered uh, on the exam and obviously you just multiply 25 times 50 and for that you get 1250 and so um, you know just using the calculator and tools is going to be your best resource and so that's that's how I answer this question the answer is B uh, you're just multiplying 25 times 50. Sample question number three a society plans to buy and sell 150 posters that feature famous engineers if the society buys each poster for 225 and sells each one for 575, what will the society's profit on the sale of what would be the society's profit on the sale of 150 posters? So let's try to calculate this question. Uh, you know, if you subtract 225 from 575, that actually gives us three dollars and fifty cents of profit, and so for each poster we sell. So if we sell 150 posters, we just use the calculator tab and do 3.5 times 150, 
which gives us 525. So the answer would be B uh, in this sense. Uh, and, th and that's it for the sample questions. Uh, for more resources and tools, please visit us at firstyeartexasteachers.com. Uh, and we have a guide there that has uh, identical, almost identical exam uh, practice questions.